You've already met him once today, Mr. Albert White. On the first day, the hounds were led home by the Basset Hounds. The Terrier group was won by the Irish Terrier. The Utility was won by the Bulldog. The Bernie's Mountain Dog won the Working Group, followed by the Pastoral Group winner, the Australian Shepherd. Earlier today, some space fees for the Long Coat Chihuahua. And we've just seen winning the gun dog the Gordon Setter. And now holding centre stage is the hound group winner, the Basset Hound, topping an entry of 45 Bassets in the breed. Then winning the hound group. The Breeders have worked hard to get rid of exaggerations in the breed. Now a functional scent hound. The pliant skin without exaggeration, strongly boned with strong feet. And this tail carried by the scimitar. And of course, showing typical head carriage for the scent hound. The head lowered to the ground to pick up the scent. And the, looking at the expression, the soulful expression of the battle hound. Table, the winner of the Terrier group, the Irish Terrier. The tallest of the Terriers that are shown on the table, a tradition in the breed, coming in this rich red colour, crisp top coat. They're one of the raciest of the terrier breeds. Some length of the neck and body, tail set bang on top, a long, clean head. On the tiptoe of expectations, they're racy, they're game, a bit of a daredevil of a terrier. There is the winning terrier, the Irish terrier. Top the group under Patsy Hollings. And round he goes, our Irish Terrier. Now, on the ramp, Mr. White, here we have the Bulldog showing off Darlington's ramp, used for the, the Bulldogs 
and the Basset Hounds. There you are. He said he didn't have rats when he was judging his first of 76 groups, yes. So here we have the, the Bulldog topping the utility group under Frank Wildman. Iconic breed for this country, distinctive outline, broad chest, a rise to the loin, the low set tail, and again, this very distinctive head with a sour mug expression, clean sweep of the under jaw, strong bone and feet. Again, it's a breed where the breeders dedicated to healthy, sound bulldogs have made huge improvements. And there is... Raring to go. Wonderfully sour in his expression. Do I have to be here? Well, he said, let's go again. Not he goes. was this Bernese Mountain Dog male. He won the breed under Mrs. Cartledge. The Bernese Mountain Dog, traditionally a multi-purpose farm dog from Switzerland, used to, one of his duties was to pull the milk cart with the churns of milk on. Strongly built, this rich tricolour coat, a hallmark of the breed with this white marking on the chest. functional in its build. There goes the Bernese Mountain Dog, our working group winner. Now forward is our pastoral group winner, the Australian Shepherd Dog. Topping the group under Sue Hewitt Chambers. This is a tricolour male. Now becoming hugely popular as a show dog. Although it bears the Australian title in its name, it's a breed which was developed in America. And just having a little glimpse of his earlier winner of the toy group, it's the long coat Chihuahua. Quite unfair. 
phase by the big green atmosphere. The long term Chihuahua, our toy group will next. Judges from Scotland, and now he's looking at a Scottish breed, the Gordon Setter. Thank you. 